Blink Repeat and welcome back to another video. Now today I have something very special for you guys today, um, but before we get stuck in, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next episode. Please leave a like to support the channel, and if you haven't already, please check out the link in the description for my merch. Any purchases you make will help me support my channel. Uh, so today, well not today, I think yesterday, I was at work and a guy was emptying a storage unit and he'd been here for many years at my work. I work at a storage facility and he had a whole bunch of vending machines in his unit and he had some very very old ones that hadn't been emptied completely yet so when he moved out he took all his machines and left behind a massive coke stain which I had to clean but he also left behind some really 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 old drinks um, in fact he left behind some cans of coke that were 10 years old I opened them but not on camera so unfortunately we can't see that but I do have some solo that was made 10 years ago but expired six years ago so you can see it reads 1st of December 15 which means it's the 1st of December 2015 which is six years ago almost six years ago but the batch number at the end um, refers to that it was made about four years before it expires and that's not my guess. I talked to the guy who owned the vending machines and that's what he told me. So today I'm going to open these solos and we're going to see what they sound like when they open. Some of the cans that I had were completely unopened and had all the pressure in them, but they, when you slush them around, they only were half full and they did not leak at all. They had no leakage and I have no idea why that was and um, because they were all in a machine and the guy said that his machines were clean, but anyway. All right, so we'll open the first can. I'll do this one a bit slowly, and right next to the mic, so you guys can hear it. Okay, so we've got a fizz. We'll give it a whiff. It smells lemony, smells normal. I pour it into the cup. Ten-year-old solo right here. Have a look at that. I'll bring the camera in a bit closer. Look at that. That is ridiculous. I'll try and focus on the top there. So, wow, that is a very interesting sight. So it's quite foggy. From my experience with solo, I normally get a solo from the vending machine at work in my break, and uh, it's normally a lot clearer. But this one's quite foggy. But it still smells the exact same. Maybe even a little bit sharper in taste. So, about six years ago, I think the ingredients were different before the whole sugar, uh, like the complaining about sugar thing was out there. So I'll just read these ingredients. I'll just focus. So, the sugar content is normal. Well, okay. So, that was before. Well, by normal, I mean not changed. So, this is before people started complaining about sugar content in drinks. So, this is a normal amount of sugar for what Solo should have. So it's like original brew, original um, Solo. So, now going to take a sip. Okay. So the first thing I noticed was that it's a lot different to the Coke because when I opened the Coke and gave that a taste, it literally tasted like um, bad water that was carbonated barely a little bit of sweet and like sweet so when I tried adding sugar to it to see if that make a difference it just fizzed up and bubbled over the edges but this one has a nice natural sweetness no phenylalanine aftertaste which is what the non-original would have and uh, yeah quite good compared to what I thought it would be because the coke with the artificial sweetener because it's coke zero um, 
didn't cope as well, but because it says natural sweeteners, I'm guessing that it lasted a lot longer. Um, because Coke Zero did not cope very well at all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't think I'll be doing another video similar to this in the future, because I don't come across very many, very many things in my at my work that are that in, this interesting. But there will be more videos in the future. Um, one more thing I'd like to mention before you guys click off the video is there is a friend of mine um, that I know pretty well from my Bible study group. His channel is Dr. Swain and I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Please go and check him out. He's got not that many subscribers at all and I think he'd really appreciate the help if you subscribe to his channel. So I'll put his channel homepage link in the description. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel because I'm so close to 400. Probably by the time you've watched this, I am at 400. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.